Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about high key vision in VR and bitrate also resolution. Okay, as you can see here, I have a graph that shows the bitrate. I have sending and receiving, which means what NVR is receiving from the camera and sending to the computer that I have just right here. Let's understand this better so you can have a better design for our high key vision project. Okay, so net detect is the application that comes with the NVR. It measures bandwidth, right? So here I have sending, as you can see, is 6,000 something kbps, then spikes up to 13, to 10, whatever, it starts changing a little bit. That's because I have more motion here on the screen that uh, requests more bandwidth, more bit rate. And also I have here this yellow one, that's the receiving one, okay? So basically what the NVR is receiving from the camera. So the idea is that the NVR is connected to my router and I also have cameras connected to this router. And then the camera sends the traffic to the NVR, that's the receiving part. And the NVR sends traffic to the computer. That's the sending traffic. That's why sending is lower than the receiving because I have four cameras connected here and just one is sending traffic there, right? I'm just come here to my computer and select here the second tile. I have a web browser connected to the NVR, okay, via my network. So when I select channel number two, I'm bringing more traffic, a second camera here. So as you can see, the sending increases, right? Now I have receiving, it's still higher than sending, of course, because I have more cameras coming to the NVR and less cameras sending to my computer, okay? And I can keep doing this with uh, camera number three and camera number four. It takes a while to load here because they are Wi-Fi connected. They're far from here. And also they're using OnViv protocol. That takes a little while to load. But as you can see here, it's already spiking, right? It's sending here, 16 megabits per second now. And you see the, the graph here. Now it's close to the receiving one. Okay, so pretty accurate here, this two with the high key vision. And you can also measure what's going on here in the computer, right? So let me do this using a software. Uh, as you can see, I have, our, I have this net limiter software. Okay, this is used for network. You can measure everything here based on application. I have different applications, Google Chrome, I have Microsoft Edge and any other application here. So how can I measure this? This software is measuring what what's coming to the computer and what's leaving the computer as well. As you can see here, I have download rate and upload rate. Download what's coming to the computer. So I'm using here this application is the Microsoft Edge. Okay, so I need to come to this software and take a look at the Microsoft Edge. But as you can see here, it's not using any bandwidth here. It's a little bit weird, right? Why is that happening? Because uh, I'm using here uh, Edge in Explorer mode. When I click here, as you can see, it's Internet Explorer mode. Okay, because it's uh, this NVR is compatible with your Internet Explorer and I'm using Internet Explorer mode. That's the reason the software shows here on Internet Explorer, right? Because it's using its engine. When I click here, I can see that the traffic is coming from the NVR. Here's the NVR IP, 245. I know that the NVR uses the 245 IP and port 80, which is web browser. Okay, so basically coming from Internet Explorer. Pretty good. So uh, as you can see, it times out. It leaves the, the tool there. So I have here my NVR working and now I can measure the bandwidth. What affects bandwidth is basically the resolution. Let me just come back here to this tool. So basically to get there, you just right click, you come to menu. Let me just draw my pattern here so I can log in. And here on maintenance, you see the net detect. That's the one, okay? I start measuring again, receiving and sending, okay? Let's just pay attention here. When I remove cameras, sending 18 megabits per second. Let's just start removing cameras now. I'll just disable this one, disable the second one, and then the third one, okay? See, 
the green one start going down there's a spike there for some reason sometimes you have like more motion in front of this camera but there's a spike right now and then it's going it's going down and if i do something let's just use one single camera here but then i'm going to go to this camera here we go that's the camera that's connected to the anyvr right here I have uh the tab that shows the camera view uh, the NVR and here this other tab is the camera itself you got with a different IP so I can basically come to this high vision camera and change the configuration there right so I come here to video audio and changing the resolution as you can see here I'm using the resolution 3840 by 2160 what the heck is that this is the resolution of the camera okay so if I multiply 3840 by 2160 so basically i have 8 megapixel okay don't get confused with megabits per second it's not megabits it's megapixel right that's the camera resolution so if i change the resolution here to this camera to 1920 by 1080 and save i'm using less resolution for the camera that affects the bandwidth and also affects the quality of course okay i have less quality so when i come back here to the nvr the nvr now is taking the stream from the camera with less quality okay so that affects directly the quality of the camera and now uh, you just need to disable here and enable again so it gets a new stream because right now you see the bandwidth is not being affected because i still connected to the old stream right let me just connect to the next one the new one and now it's going to see that affects the bandwidth the green graph goes down okay and you see the bandwidth is changing a little bit now okay so that's one way to go and you can also go with with a different approach here which is instead of changing the resolution you keep the resolution high and you force the camera to use less bit rate as you can see here it didn't change that much there because with the bit rate that i have here 10 megabits per second the camera is allowed to use all this bit rate doesn't matter if i use in the resolution higher or lower still i can use 10 megabits per second right if i lower this to let's say one megabit per second and i save now the camera is limited to use just one megabit per second send this one megabit per second to the nvr as you can see the graph right there changes a lot sending okay because now what i have here is let me just double click here you can see that's a pixelated image have more pixels in the image it's not a good one because i'm limiting the camera now so the image is not good okay it's a pixelated image okay but the bandwidth saving it's huge as you can see there so you need to find the best uh, way here right you can use a good quality but not so many bandwidth so you just need to be in the correct point right the correct configuration to have this working so let's just increase this a little bit more let's say six megabits per second okay six thousand kbps or six megabits per second is the same when i save here now when i come back to the camera now the camera has a better resolution you see it's no longer pixelating that much and now the bandwidth increase a little bit but not that much by basically limiting the camera how much bandwidth the camera can use okay just be careful with the quality here okay you can like measure the bandwidth and just adjust accordingly so you can have better uh good image and also bandwidth that's not that high so that's the way it works okay so let's back come back here to my net limiter uh where is it here we go and you see the net limiter now is bringing traffic from one camera around six megabits per second that's the limit that i have there on the camera okay so basically the uh, camera is sending to the nvr and then if you are sending to my 
um, computer and I'm using the web browser here. Okay, so you can control that way. So it's pretty interesting, right? So if you don't have Nalimeter, for example, you can take a look at uh, here on the task manager, performance, ethernet, or whatever interface you are connected to your network. You see here how much bandwidth the interface is receiving, okay? You don't know uh, what's the application that's using this, right? Unless you have everything closed and you have just one application running here, let's say Edge, for example, then you know that's the only one using a uh, bandwidth, then you, you can make sure that the application using this much bandwidth, right? It's a tool that you can use, it's free because it comes with Windows, but if you use Netlimiter, it's better because you know in details which application is using uh, the bandwidth, right? So pretty simple, okay? You can use uh, either here on the Hike Vision in here, or you can use here on your computer and start measuring the bandwidth, or you can use both, right? To have everything working here. And now you can understand better how it works and have a better design for your network, all right? I hope this helps. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next video.